हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई जे विजय चंद्र वेलकम यू टू विट्स कनेक्ट एज पार्ट ऑफ वेब डिजाइन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डी एच टी एम एल डी एच टी एम एल डायनेमिक हाइपर टेक्स मार्कअप लैंग्वेज टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग डी एच टी एम एल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कंपेयर विद द एच टी एम एल DMH, DHTML means dynamic hypertext markup language. So DHTML means hypertext markup language. That is dynamic hypertext markup language. Whereas general HTML before DHTML it was HTML. HTML means hypertext markup language. This is static. This is static. Whereas DHTML is dynamic. HTML is static. DHTML is dynamic. DHTML is the language language which supports animations which supports animations and dynamic menus dhtml supports it supports animation animations and dynamic menus so html and dhtml html is a static web pages html is used for static web pages and dhtml is a dynamic hypertext markup language it supports animations and dynamic menus it is a combination it is a combination it uses it associates it is not only uses it associates with the css cascading style sheets that we already discussed it associates with the cascading style sheets that is css and javascript that means if html file is associated with css and javascript it will become a dynamic the html page if it is associated with css and javascript then it will become a dynamic whereas html will be slow with its is slow with client servers it is slow with the client servers technologies claim server recording technologies but whereas dynamic it is with very high speed communication with the high speed communication with the servers it is high speed communication with the servers h dhtml supports database connectivity database connectivity that means dhtml supports database connectivity whereas html will not support since it is a static html will not support so by using dhtml we can connect to the database where we can store the data and we can communicate with the database so html extension is extension for html is dot htm or dot html whereas here dot dhtml so HTML extension is dot htm or dot html, whereas dhtml extension is dot 
DHTML. If DHTML uses the server side code, whereas HTML will not use server side code. Uses server side code. That means it can communicate with the server and it can get the code from the server, whereas DHTML will not can communicate with the server and then it cannot uh, share the code with the server. Then the connectivity, the files can be stored in HTML with an extension of HTML or .html or .htm or .html and this will be a plain text pages. These are plain text pages that are static. These are the plain text pages which are static with DHTML we can have different events we can have events methods events methods properties and by on click methods by on click methods these properties will be executed so dhtml is dynamic dhtml is dynamic and by on click on the dhtml web pages the dynamic activities can be executed dhtml provides pop up menus dhtml provide pop up menus control boxes that is message boxes and input boxes whereas we can't get all this in the html this is a major difference between html and dhtml once again i am going to revise what is html and what is dhtml html means hypertext markup language which is a static html is a static it is flow and to the client as well as for the server the extension will be .htm or .html this is the plain text pages that means a website with a simple html will be with a plain text pages which are interlinked if you want to describe some content by using html it's possible but dynamic interaction is not possible with html is for static web pages whereas dhtml is for the hypertext markup language it is meant, meant, meant for the dynamic web pages dhtml supports animation and dynamic menus whereas html it supports only the plain text pages and html extension is .htm or .html whereas dhtml extension is .dhtml dhtml is not a one technology it is an associate of technologies it is interlinked with the CSS and JavaScript. CSS means cascading style sheet and JavaScript. So, DHTML is very high speed communication technology. It uses very high speed communication with the client servers. Whereas, the HTML will use very low uh, client server uh, communication. And DHTML uses events, methods, and properties. And it is very fast up with the client side technologies. DHTML uses the database connectivity so that you can connect with the database also. It uses the dynamic menus such as pop up menu, control menus such as message boxes and input boxes. The variables will be accepted, that means the input will be there, process will be done, and even database storage can also be done in the DHTML and output will be displayed through message boxes. So this is all about the dynamic HTML that is dynamic hypertext markup language which is an extension of HTML.
hope you all understood well thank you thank you very much in the next session we are going to discuss the practical session regarding the same topic thank you